What's happening guys? It's your boy Nick Che coming back at you guys. I know that college is starting right back up. So today we're going to be talking about what to pack and what not to pack for college. I hope that it's going to be helpful as you guys start to move in and get ready to start the new school year. So let's just jump right into it. Now first and foremost, I cannot emphasize the importance of taking less than what you need. Now this is a very common freshman mistake to think that, oh my gosh, I'm gonna need every single little thing that I could ever possibly think of. So I'm gonna pack all my stuff from home and bring it all the way to college. And then when you get to college, you realize, I don't need half the crap that I brought. That was a huge mistake that I personally made. I was lugging out like two suitcases, a duffel bag, and then I had my mom ship me a bunch of boxes from home. And then when I came home for winter break, I realized, crap, I don't have any clothes at home that I can wear or anything in my room that I needed. So I think just a big rule of thumb is to take half of what you need. Anything that you find out you're gonna be missing in college, you can just purchase there or order online using Amazon Prime. Speaking of which, as the school year starts to begin, make sure that you guys utilize Amazon Prime with your school university email so that you get that prime membership for I think it's about six months free it's been a super huge help especially those first few weeks when you're trying to purchase whatever it is that you might need um, in your dorm room now when I say bring half of what you need I'm specifically talking about clothes now when it comes to college first and foremost you're gonna be super busy so busy that you're not gonna be thinking about picking out a new wardrobe or a different outfit every single day I mean I do that because I just like fashion and it's part of my style and I have time for that but for the most of you guys and the majority of you guys watching that's not a huge factor of importance so really you're only going to need a few t-shirts a few pair of pants some jackets some long sleeves um, a few different pair of shoes don't just bring everything that you have in your high school wardrobe essentially if you haven't worn it in the past school year don't bring it to college because there's no way that you're actually going to wear it and another thing is you tend to rotate out a lot of the clothes that you've already worn so it just maybe because we're lazy we just don't really care about doing laundry but we just fold our clothes, put it back on top of the pile, and then grab that shirt again so the clothes at the bottom of the pile may not get worn a lot. Do not bring anything high school related, no high school t-shirts, no high school trophies, posters, banners, any awards, blah, blah, blah. Leave that all at home because you do not want to be introducing your friends to your dorm and be like, hey guys, look at my debate champion high school medal trophy thing on, and you have a whole wall or plaque of them. Like, people are gonna be like, this kid's still in high school, no one really cares, especially in college where everyone has a lot of accomplishments like anything high school related just leave it at home now toiletries makeup accessories um, anything else that you can think of along that category for the most part you are going to need the basics like your toothbrush toothpaste mouthwash floss face wash lotion and for the most part just use what you normally have don't bring excess or too much of that because once again you can just restock when you're on campus i will say though that if you have a favorite product that's just local so for me like my floyd's barbershop um, hair wax that i use is not a lot near princeton so i tend to like stock up on one or two before i go to campus so i don't have to buy anything new and, and switch out my hair products another huge thing is kitchen utensils plates dishes things like that now for the most of you guys for your first year you will be in a dorm you are not going to be in an apartment unless that's how your housing situation is and the majority of you guys will be on that dining hall plan meaning that you know you're not going to be cooking a lot so for the most part i Rec I wouldn't recommend to bring that because it's just going to take up more space when you're packing and if you tend to need it or find out that someone's going to be cooking in the house then you can purchase it and split it with your roommates as you go. Another huge thing that you need to take into account is whether you're going to be driving or flying when you're moving in. Driving obviously has an advantage because you can pack more boxes and you can have a car and it's a lot more flexible whereas flying though it's a lot more complicated because you have to pack everything in a suitcase. You can't just walk into the airplane with a huge television. So for someone like me who had to fly, like I said, I was just putting all my clothes in my suitcases and just trying to ma manage everything as um, tightly as possible to be the most efficient with my space. Because that's the most important thing about college dorm rooms is that space is very limited. You're going to quickly realize that the closets are very small, your dorm room space is just super tiny and there's not a lot of room to expand like you might have done at your bedroom at home so finding ways to you know micromanage and tidy things up is going to be a huge beneficial advantage when it comes to organizing your dorm room and figuring out what you're going to need to pack for college now your last kind of thing is the shoes like how many pairs of shoes am i going to need what, what occasions will i need it for to be honest i don't know it's personal preference depending on how many shoes you have i tend to have actually a lot of pairs so i have like five or six or seven but there are also a wide range of weathers at school. So, you know, some Birkenstocks for when it's summer, some casual tennis shoes, boots, because I know it's gonna get rainy and wintry, so I need a, 
a couple pairs of boots and then just you know dress shoes same thing applies with shoes if you haven't worn them in the past year get rid of them give it to your brother just it, there's no point in bringing it to college now for your bigger stuff like your television your refrigerator a couch maybe some furniture what I did was I flew in there with my mom and then we rented a car and then we were able to go to Target and Bed Bath & Beyond and pick out the stuff that I would need and drive it back with the car Obviously, if you're flying in, it might be a little harder, but if you have a car, then that's the most convenient option. Another thing you can do is, like I said, Amazon Prime, you can order it online and they'll ship it to your university and then you can pick it up there. And then you don't have the hassle of having to rent a car, go all the way out and pick it up and bring it back. It's just a lot more work that you do not want to be stressing about. But when it comes to, do you really need all those things? That's kind of a question for you and your roommates. So last year I had a futon, a TV and a refrigerator for three people and we split the cost of that and we found that that was the most effective way to leave it in the common room so that you know all of our friends could come over and it was just a nice place to relax. It's personal preference and also budgeting like in reality you may not need a TV because you are going to be studying there's not going to be a lot of free time that you're going to be able to just lounge around and watch Netflix all day so you know a TV may not be super essential. I do recommend having a refrigerator I think that's super important to store groceries or fruits or drinks or anything that you have left over and then you know furniture if you have room for a couch you know that's obviously very convenient but once again as budget allows you know talk with your roommates figure that out okay that about wraps it up for all the things that you need to pack and not pack for college like i said before space is the most important thing so you know just be very conscious as you're packing and think to yourself will i really need this am i actually going to use this in my college dorm room because in reality you're going to be a lot more busy than you think right now you may think that oh i'll have so much time to just hang out and lounge around in my dorm room when in reality those first few months of college you're going to be hustling about you will hardly be in your dorm room so do not fret about that at the moment i hope this has helped if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like drop a comment down below follow me on instagram at nicholas che and i'll see you guys next time